Today Interwebs, I'm B-Man and this is Pokemon Go and I'm doing a Meltan hunt. Open the mystery box and then catch some Meltans. Meltan. So I'd like one more shiny before the end of this event so that I've got uh, a Meltan and a Mel Metal, a shiny Meltan and a Mel Metal in Pokemon Go and a shiny Meltan and a Mel Metal in the Core series. Australian, you might like to watch me catch a kangaroo. They're pretty annoying to catch because they're so large. They used to be terrible to catch. The ball would always fall at their feet. You could never actually hit them. Like you could literally swipe the entire phone screen and it would still land at their feet rather than actually going high enough to hit them. I lied when I said they're hard now, it's getting much easier. They're always high CP though, so they break out a lot. There we go. Mm, give him a pineapple. Oh, I've got a lot of berries. So I've been playing on Community Day. This is shiny. So I've gone up a level in the last month. By which I mean I hit level one, uh, level thirty-one in the last month. Not that I've gone up an entire levels worth of experience. I was pretty close. I was pretty close to um being level 31 when the Meltan events, sorry, when Pokemon Let's Go dropped. And I came back to Pokemon Go just to catch Meltans. I don't know if you can hear them making coffee. This is what that sound is if you can hear it.
to nose pass. <laughs> CP, he gets a pineapple berry. Double the candy off the of Great throw. Keeping all my Meltan so I can transfer them all to Let's Go to get more Meltan uh, to get Stardust and uh, like a huge horde of Meltan in my Go Park complex. Narwhals, narwhals, there he is, narwhals. Remember to use lots of pineapple berries because they're filling up my inventory. I don't play Pokemon Go a lot, so I'm not catching these other Pokemon because I already have... The, actually, I'm not sure if I've got a Krikatot. Yeah, I'm trying to save Pokeballs for the rest of the Shiny Meltan event. Like I've said in previous videos, I, that is a new Pokemon. Like I've said in previous videos, um, I live on a bunch of Pokemon spawns. But I have to walk or drive to get to Pokestops. Not going to it. He's the only one I have, so I'm keeping him. that one up pretty badly. I don't know if it's possible to max out the candy. Can't imagine it maxing out at 999, but it might.
So yeah, on my last Meltan hunt, I caught a 100% IV shiny Meltan. I looked up on the internet and Silk Road says there's a 1 in 60 chance of Meltan being shiny during the last event. Um, and apparently there's a 1 in 4096 chance of getting perfect IVs. So I multiplied them together and got... A 1 in 245,760 chance of a shiny perfect IV Meltan during the event or a point, point zero 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 four percent chance. I really want to catch those Pokemon. I don't want to waste Pokeballs. Really? Yeah, I want another shiny Meltan, but I can't really complain with the, with three shinies and one of them at 100%. So I, I won't like cry if the event expires and I don't have another one. It would be nice to have one more. It's nearly been 15 minutes already.
Mm. If you're watching this, you should subscribe to my YouTube for more of this amazing action. Wisma popping in and out of existence. Shiny, oh my god. Shiny Taylo. Stay in there. Yes. I'm glad I tapped on him. Nice. That's my first shiny that hasn't been part of community day or the um event. The Meltan event. I wanna see if everything's shiny. Jason gets transferred. No tan. Whoops. Yeah, I have no idea what the rates are for shinies in this game. But one in, uh, well, yeah, one in 60 for Meltan, that's part of an event. It's like one in 4,096 or something in the later Pokemon games, and one in 8,000 or something in the earlier ones, I think. But I believe they're more common in Pokemon Go. So I quit Pokemon Go for a while, I was like, no, I want to focus on the core series. And then, 
I found out about these community days where people have been getting like shiny Charmanders and stuff and I'm like, oh no, I quit Pokemon Go. Once it became obvious that they were going to let you import like Gen 1 Pokemon into Pokemon Let's Go and there's no way they won't let you import Let's Go Pokemon into Gen 8. I'm like, I've been playing the wrong games. I should have been playing Pokemon Go with a better chance of games. But I want to complete my um, Pokedex in the th Game Boy and DS games. Come on. I never played Heart Gold or Soul, Soul Silver. So I've gone back to Heart Gold and Soul Silver trying to completely throw no Pokedex. Um, I completed Red and Gold, and then I completed the Pokedex in Fire Red, but I never completed. Well, obviously, if I never played Heart Gold or Soul Silver, I never completed them. So I'm trying to do that now. And then I'm going to go back and I've bought a copy of Sapphire with a battery sold and the battery sold it in, into it. So and I've got a copy of Pearl that I've never played. So I'm gonna play Sapphire, then Pearl, and then try and sort of aggregate the entire Pokedex into Gen 4. And then Gen 5 like I have every Pokemon that's native to Gen 7. So I'll just have to complete Gen 5 and Gen 6 after that. Which I assume shouldn't be too hard because Gen 5 is just one land and Gen 6 is one land and a remake of Ruby and Sapphire which I'll already completed the Pokedex for. Yeah, I've got like 10 or 11 Pokemon left in my Heart Gold Pokedex. From ready to go back to Sapphire. It's also why I don't play Let's Go much. I'm back trying to complete older Pokemon games. Yeah, I was wondering what the shiny rates were like in Pokemon Go when an event wasn't, like, not, not during an event. So it's interesting that I've caught one already. A shiny type. Come on. I also wasn't sure if they were only available during events. Like I remember around the time I quit, Mad uh, Shiny Magikarp came out. I don't know if it's still possible to get it or if it was a little time thing. Shinies are going to be in Ultra Balls. I don't think there's any shame in that. I'd rather a shiny in an Ultra Ball than have it get away and not have it at all.
just to make sure I stabbed that tail over it and I accidentally sorry favorited it favorited it yep here's my perfect one if you haven't watched that video perfect shiny hit points attack and defense are all its strongest features Three and a half minutes left. Yeah, you might notice I'm building up Meltan Candy. I have no interest in evolving them or um, doing anything with them until I find it, apart from the one I've already transferred to Let's Go just to get it in my Pokedex. Um, until I find out how Go, Let's Go, and Gen 8 all work together, or if they do, then I will know what I want to do with my shinies. I even have unevolved shinies from earlier generations that um like currently Pokemon Bank is your Pokedex. So I don't know if that will remain the Pokedex or if there'll be some new if the entire Pokedex will be back in Gen 8. Because in G in Gen 7 um Alola only has a partial Pokedex. And you use Pokemon Bank to track the complete Pokedex. It's getting big. The Pokedex, I mean. Is this gonna be my last one or my second last one? Might get one more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nope, that's it. Well, I'm pretty happy I got a shiny Talo. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm B Man Pones, B M A N P W N Z, on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram maybe some other platforms, so feel free to subscribe or follow on all of those platforms, and I hope to see you in the next video. Later.